They want to serve nobody. Oh, the power is real. Yes, yes. They want to serve nobody. They can't heal, be us. Do nothing to come. Amen. Lord, thank you, Jesus. God has healed you. God has shown you that he's real. He's real. It ain't just words that we preach and praise God. When God healed you. You know God himself is real. Yes, yes. Because we don't got no power to heal outside of God. None. So we thank God. And a lot of you need to get on faith on Facebook. Praise God and tell people what God did for you. Yes. If God healed you. So they can know. Amen. So they can believe God. Yes. They all know that God is a healer. Yes, God. Amen. Now when Jesus healed, they for the people gave their testimony and they said, go over on Fifth and Main because Jesus on from Fifth and Main and he just healed some people on Fifth and Main. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they yeah. told you what the healer was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you don't want to tell nobody what ministry you had when you got healed there. What's wrong with you? A shame. I wouldn't be ashamed of no ministry like that. Amen. I'm ashamed of a ministry that don't got the power of God in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't got the word of God. That's why I don't want to be in. Yeah. If I can come into the house of God and come Amen. in sick or in pain and get healed, I want you to know about that ministry. Amen. Praise God. I ain't trying to hide it. Come on, saints of God. God. Hebrews chapter 11. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11. Verse 24 through 26. Hebrews chapter 11. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 24 through 26. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want you to be entertained. I want you to be changed, thanks to God, on, including Amen. myself. Amen. And I think that we need to calm down in God's house sometimes because we're so bent on entertain. You want to be entertained, go home and watch football on, or basketball or, or tennis on, or something. Praise God. You come to God's house to be changed. Yes. And you come to hear his word. And yes. you come in to experience his presence. Yes. Amen. Amen. If I can come in and feel his presence, that's good enough for me. That's good enough. Amen. 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 Hear his word, that's what I need. That's what I, I need. don't need to be entertained. I need to be changed. Yes. And I need to be prepared for the coming of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. All that other stuff. You can keep all that other stuff. Yes. I was caught some stuff like that at first, but you close to the guys and they said, that ain't worth nothing. Nothing. If I'm dancing and shouting, I leave out still sick, praise God. Come on. Come but if I get a church of God and get healed, praise God, that's what I need. Amen. I want to leave with that healing. Yes. I want to leave with his Amen. word. Come on, say yeah. God. Yes, Lord. We had a good time at church today. Well, what pastor preached about? I don't know, but he did the split and the James Brown and his keyboard. Yes. That ain't happened to me, praise Amen. God. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11, yeah. verse 24 through 26. When you have that, could you please say amen? amen. amen. By faith, ah. Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasure of sin. Yeah. Esteeming the reproach of Christ's greater riches they are treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward that came from God. Yes. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor. Neighbor. It takes true faith. It takes true faith. To reject this world. To reject this world. And to accept God. And to accept God. Come on, say, neighbor. Neighbor. It takes true faith. It takes true faith. To reject this world. To reject this world. And to accept God. And to accept God. Come on, say, neighbor. Neighbor. It takes true faith. It takes true faith. To reject this world. To reject this world. World. And to accept God. And to accept God. Amen. You may be seated in Amen. the house of the Lord. Amen. Because thanks to God, this faith that we see in the land today is not true faith. Come on, sir. Amen. Because we say we got faith in God, and we still praise God, love the world. Yes, sir. And like I told you, I'm not trying to entertain you on today. Come on, sir. But I want to give us the word of God. Amen. We say we got faith in God and not just praise God. We have many in the body of Christ who say that they love God, but yet they still love the world. They say that they for Jesus, but yet they still hold on to the world. Come on. They say they love God, praise God, but they still live like he did. Come on, saints of God. But first John chapter 2, 15, go there. Amen. First John chapter 2. Verse 15. I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures on today. Amen. Sometimes.
behind these scriptures need to settle us down. But we stop wanting to jump over the pews when they hit the keyboard. Come on, sir. So we can be taught. Amen. My pastor told me, praise God. He said, they got their keyboard. And he said, minister, every time they hit them keys, he said, they look like a pack of wild horses jumping up, <laughs> running. And he said, I, I told them to stop. Praise God. Mm. He said, they just want some entertainment, but don't want the word. Come on. You give them the word, they sit there and look at you strange. You uh -huh. look at that, they watch, praise uh -huh. God. They want you to do a split, do the James Brown, come on, Pastor, oh, praise God. Do some backflips, entertain us. Mm -hmm. No, I got to give you the word. Come on, sir. This is what's going to save us. Amen. Look what he said, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Do not love the world or things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yes. We cannot say that we love God and love the world at the same time. Amen. God said don't love the world, neither the things that's in the world. Saints of God, we try to hold on to the world, and then we try to hold on to God. That's not true faith. Come on, sir. You have not rejected the world and accepted God. We can't hold on to the world and hold on to God at the same time. Ain't that what the words say? Yes. Do not love the world, neither things that's in the world. When we look at the, at the church, saints of God, we see more of the world than anything. Amen. We dress like the world. Praise God. Come on, daughters of Zion. Amen. Amen. The world likes to dress up and wear stuff real tight and real short. That's not the way that the saints, that the church is supposed to be saints of God. Amen. See, we got to return back. When you say return back to holiness, we got to return back all the way. Amen. We can't hold on to praise God the world and hold on to God. Amen. When God told us don't love things that's in the world. Amen. And a lot of times we as people of God, we love the things of the world. Amen. You see pastors taking their children, praise God, to little boosty concerts and all this kind of stuff. And recording this stuff and talking about, I took, I, I'm not in a box, praise God. But God said don't love the world. Amen. Neither the things that's in it, that means you ain't glorifying God. So why is you allowing it to go in your ears and go in your children's ears? Come on, saints of God. He told us don't love the world. Neither the things that's in the world. God said if you love the world, he said you do not love God the Father. That don't mean that God don't want us to dress nice and drive nice and God don't want you to enjoy your life. But God said don't get caught up in the things of this world. Amen. And we had this in the house of God. We got so much word of this in the house of God. Praise God. Then if God returned, a whole lot of us would be left. Because God ain't coming back for no worldly church. He coming back for a holy church. Come on. Come on, to God. Yeah. And now you got yeah. pastors leading the people to hell right along with them. Yeah. They tell you it's all right for you to go to Beyonce yeah. concerts and all this kind of yeah. stuff. Praise God. They miss your spirit up. Yeah. And a pastor is telling you the truth, praise God. You don't want to hear from them. You got a problem with Come them. On. Come on, saints of God. Man. But God wants us not to love the world. God wants us, praise God, to love him and accept him. Man. Matthew, the sixth chapter, praise God, the 24th verse, says you cannot serve two masters. If you're going to love the one or you're going to hate the other. That's the word. You somehow love God, but then you love the devil at the same time. You ain't doing nothing lying. Come on. You can't love God and love the devil at the same time. You just cannot do it. Come on, man, and you God. cannot serve two masters. Yeah. Either you're going to serve yeah. God and, and, and leave the devil alone, or either you're going to serve the devil and leave God alone. Yeah. You got to make your mind up. He said, man cannot serve two masters. Yeah. Either you're going to love one, or you're going to hate the other. Yeah. You can't love the devil and then say, I love God at the same time. God said, you can't do that. Come on. Sometimes we say things, praise God, and we call God a liar. Yes. God just told you that you can't serve two masters. God just told you you can't love me and love the devil at the same time. And a lot of us in the house of God, we really love, love the devil, and we don't really love God, praise God. Right. We think that we love God, but Jesus said, if you love me, do what? Keep my word, keep my command. See, we got a word, church. Yeah. He said, keep my word. He said, the way that you tell, you show me that you love me is that you go by what my word say. Word. And if we don't live by God's word, it's because we do not love God. Come on, we got to be true for saints of God. Oh. We got to get this thing right. Yes. In the book of Revelation, in Revelation chapter 3, praise God, when Jesus wrote the churches, he wrote, he wrote the lukewarm church. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, he said, Jesus, I know your deeds. Uh -huh. see, see, Jesus knows the deeds of every church. Yeah. 
of every pastor, of all the members in the church. He know all our deeds. Yeah. And Jesus, listen, I know your deeds. He said, I know what you're doing. He said, he said, he said, listen, he said, you're lukewarm. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I'd rather that you be hot or cold. Oh, he said, you're going to be in the world. I'd rather for you just go and be in the world. He said, you're going to be in the church. You're going to be in me. He said, be in me. He said, but y'all lose more. And he said, I'm going to throw you up out of my mouth. I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. The back then, they, when you drunk that water back then and, and low the seal, that, that water was kind of warm. Don't nobody want to drink no warm water like that. Uh -uh. You want to drink some cool, refreshing water. Yeah. And Jesus, I'm ready for you to be hot or cold. Come on. He said, I don't want you to be in the between. Come on, say God. He said, if you love me, he said, serve me then. Yeah. Come on, say to God. Oh, yeah. But many in the church today, we don't see, we see lukewarmness. Uh -huh. We see a lot of worldliness. It's some stuff, praise God, God been showing me, and I'm telling you, we are not able to receive it right now. Yes, yes. We're not able. Let me tell you something. I told I said, God, I said, you, you, you got the birth, this holiness in us now. I said, you got the birth, this kind of sanctification that you talk about. I said, God, because God, I don't even got the appetite for that. Jesus. I said, God, gee, I'm just being true with you. Yeah. I said, God, you got to do this. And God said, I am going to do it. God said, I'm going to give you a new heart and give you a new spirit. Yeah. God said, you can't serve me based on your own strength. Come on. So God going to tell us to give up. That's we right. don't want to give it up for God. Because we do not really know true sanctification in the house of God. Come on, man. I'm ready for you to be hot or cold. Come on. The Lord right. said that you lose warm. Yeah. He said, one minute you talk about your loving, and the next minute you back out there in the world. Come on, saints of God. Jesus. In Luke chapter 6, verse 46, he said, why do you call me Lord, Lord? And you won't do what I say. He said, why do you call me Jesus? Why do you call me Master? He yeah. said, but you won't do nothing that I say. Nothing. We got men in the house of God. We call God Lord, but we refuse to do what he say. Come on. And when people tell us what the words say, we try to say, I'm not in a box, praise God. But these yeah. are the teachings of Jesus. Yes, you say that Jesus is your master, praise God. You need to do what he say. Yeah. He said, why? Why? Have nobody answered him yet? No. Ain't nobody answered him yet? Uh -uh. He asked the people, why do you call me Lord, Lord? Why do you sell your Savior? Why do you say I'm your Redeemer? Why do you sell your Sanctifier? Why do you sell your Advocate? Why do you sell your King, your King, and Lord of Lord? He said, you would not do what I say. He said, why do you keep calling me Master, but you won't do what I say? Yeah. Come on, church, we have to wake up. Why do we call him Lord, but we would not do what he say? Yes, yes. Lord means Master. And if he's our master and we his servant, why don't we obey him? My God. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do what I say? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, should enter the kingdom of heaven. That's what he said. Praise God. He said, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Yes. Can I tell you, saints of God, I got to be true with you from the past on back. If we don't do his will, we are not going to heaven. Amen. I don't care how much I get before you and preach, praise God, I can do all this and still go to hell. Yes. Paul said, at least when I preach to others, I myself become a castaway. You get up preaching and prophesying and singing and, and bucking and jumping and falling in the flow, yes. you go straight to hell. Yes. God is no respect the person. God right. don't respect me more than he respects yes. you. If I live wrong, God will judge me, praise yes. God, and send me to hell just yes. like anybody else. Yes. Come on, say to God. Yes. The word. Hallelujah. But he who does the will of my father. Yes. If you don't do God's will, you're not going. Come on. Praise God. I know the pastor told you to do you. Do you? All these strange teachings that we hear in the word of God, it is not coming from the word of God. In the whole place got 3,000 people, and this preacher is telling you stuff that's not in the word of God, and you sit there taking notes. What are you sitting there taking notes for? What he's saying is not in the word yes. of God. Yes. yes. The Bible said that the saints of Berea uh -huh. was more noble minded than the saints of Thessalonians. Yes. Because the Bible says even when the apostle got through preaching, they went back and searched the scriptures to see if they were yeah. so. Come on, saints God. Yeah. We got to have a church, praise God, that's going to test the spirit yeah. and see how they are God. Yeah. And if they're saying something that's not in the word of God, I don't care what title you get, yeah. I'm not going to receive it. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Paul yeah. said, oh, we, <laughs> or an angel from heaven, came to you and preached to you any other gospel mm. 
He said, don't listen to them. He said, let them be a curse. Let them be a you curse. You got some people that start right with God, and then they start teaching stuff that's erroneous, and you still sitting there listening because you you looked at an anointing that that man had a long time ago. Come on. But you need to see what's coming out of his mouth right now. Yeah. Oh, thank God. My God. My God. If you don't do his will, you're not going. I don't care how much we come to church, you're not going. And if, if I want to make sure that what I'm doing is what God called me to do, because yes, I do yes. not want my ready to be in vain. Yes. I refuse to stand before God and God said, I never told you to do that. Come on. That's why I'm on my face by myself saying, God, am I going in the direction that you want me to go? Yes. I'm not concerned about no fame. I'm not concerned about people mm -hmm. liking me. I just want to do what God says yes. and get up out of here. Come on, say, yes. God. God, I want to please you. Yes, God. I want to please you, God. And this is my cry. You believe there is one God? James said, you do well. well uh -huh. He said, even the demons believe and shake. Yes. Because they will deal with him in eternity past. Uh -huh. And when they think about him, they shake. <laughs> they body shake, praise yes. God. Yes. Because they know that he's all powerful. Yes. They know that he's all knowing. Yes. They know that he's all seeing. Yes. Praise God. Yes. They know God. Even the demon, when he seen Jesus, he said, I know who you are. Uh -huh. He said, you are the son of the living God. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, shut up. Uh -huh. I don't need no demon giving no testimony about me. Hey, hey. How can a demon give testimony uh -huh. to Jesus? And you got the saints who sit right in the house of God and won't give no testimony to the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Come on, where is the church? Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You believe there is one God? He said, you do well. Yeah. He said, even the demons believe in tremble. Yeah. He said, but can I tell you, just like the body without the spirit is dead, uh -huh. he said, faith without works is dead. Amen. How can you say you got faith in God, but you don't got no works? Come on. Come on. When I say works, I'm not talking about you just talking about, well, I say I believe God, mm -hmm. and so I went and I sowed this seed. And, and see, faith without works is dead. And, and that's what the preacher tell you. But because, because preacher, if the only thing you preach about is money, that is not the gospel, you liar. Come on, come on. How you preach it to all these people around the world, and every time you get up, you talk about sowing and reaping. You don't say nothing about Jesus. You don't say nothing about his death, burial, and resurrection, you lying preacher. Come on, say to God. That's not the gospel. God, well, God anointed me, praise God, to, 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 to bring the body of Christ out of poverty. You lying devil, praise God. He told you to go preach about his death, girl, and resurrection. It's what he told you to preach. That's what he said. And you turn on television. That's all you hear. Go, 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 go to the phone. Go to the phone. Go, 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 go to the phone. 855, 855, word. Come on. It's not like some auctioneers. Come on, say something. Why not just give the people the word of God and let the people give them God? Tell them what to give. Come on, sir. That's not the gospel. Praise God. Every time you get through preaching, pray God, you always got to tell people to give a seed. Let them give what God told them to give yeah. and keep on moving. Don't rob the people. Yeah. Yeah. The word. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Amen. Faith without works is dead. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. We walk like the world and act like the world. We talk like the world. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we cuss people out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we cuss all the time, praise yeah. God. <laughs> but the book, the book of James, <laughs> the book of James said, he said, listen, can, can fresh water and bitter water come out of the same mouth? Yeah. Uh -uh. He yeah. said, with the same mouth, we bless God. <laughs> yeah. And then we turn around and curse men that's made in God's image. Yes. One man said, God, I, I, I magnify you. Yes. God, I bless you. The next thing you cuss somebody out, praise God, on the freeway, come on. He said, these things are not to be so. <laughs> are not to be so. Well, a lot of us got ATs and uncles that do this, praise God. They got a form of godliness, but they're not a power thereof. That's it. That's it. That's it. The Bible said, let no corrupt Good communication come out of your mouth. Yes, that's the word. Corrupt means right and foul. Yes. And you got people to my say, you know, it ain't in the Bible that you can't cuss. Come on. What preacher are you sitting up on? Oh. <laughs> well, I'll preach if you cuss it too, praise God. Run out the church. <laughs> Come on, say to God. 
God. He said, let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. He said, but only what is good to edify and build up the brother. Yes. The only thing that can come out of your mouth is to build up somebody else. Yes. Not to cut somebody out. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to, but all of us don't want to now. <laughs> <laughs> you know <that>? Praise <laughs> God, I'll be able to pray sometime. Praise God, somebody be in front of you going slow, and you swoop around and praise God. You want to cuss them out, praise God. Sometimes people come and flip you off, praise God. He just flipped me off, praise God. I need to get behind him. First lady got behind a woman one day, praise God. I'm telling on praise God. The lady flipped, the lady flipped first lady, I praise God, and you went around first lady, and let her put the gas, praise God, to, to the floor, praise God. They got to chase the woman. Praise God, drive this show. Come on, church God. Because she tried to run me off the road. She tried to run first lady off the road, praise God. First lady was chasing her. First lady come on the phone, praise God, to get the bell money ready, praise God, you might have to come and get it. Praise God, say, woman, what you doing, where you at? <laughs> praise God. So sometimes we want to. But come on, saints, we just can't be praise God like the world. Uh-uh. Talk like the world. Uh-uh. Talk like the world. <laughs> come on, saints of God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. You got to grow up. Yes, Lord. If we're going to reject the world <laughs> and accept God, the Bible says in the last days they will not endure sound doctrine. They won't. But they will heap themselves, teachers teach having itching ears. Yes. The Bible, Paul said, he said, he said Timothy, he said, listen, son, preach the word in season and out of season. Amen. He said, because the days is coming that they're not going to listen to sound doctrine anymore. Mm-hmm. He said, the days is coming. He said, when a preacher get up and preach, that people ain't going to want to hear the truth. He said, but they're going to be turned to fables. Yes. And what is fables? Fables means a fancy story. story. Yes. It's doing it now. So the preacher get up and tell you a fancy story. Uh-huh. And, 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 and he have, he have a, a grapefruit, and, and he have a orange, <laughs> and he have an apple rat come here. On, come on, and back. he tell you some fancy story, praise God, about how God told him to sow $10,000, and he got back a billion, praise God. And then he cut the, the orange open and cut the apple open and said, what do you see inside of there? No, that's a seed, ain't it? See, see, God wants you to sow your seed, and praise God, and get your harvest. Come on, saints of God. That's not sound doctrine. Right. Sound doctrine means doctrine is healthy. Yep. That when you receive it in your soul, it keep you it keep you healthy spiritually. Yes. Come on, saints of God. Yes. But he said it will be turned unto fables. Fables. Woo. And we see that right now in the house of God. We see it. We see it. They tell you that you're being too deep. Too deep. They tell you that you're being too holy. Yes, you're in a box. They tell you that you're in a box and they don't take all that. Come on. They tell you that God ain't like that. Uh huh. Let me tell you something. Stop saying how God is when you don't know him. When you don't know him. Hey. I'm talking about some God ain't like that. Yes, he is like that. Hey. He told you, praise God. Yeah, yeah, but God is love. God is also a judge. You got to understand that. And God will send you to hell. You stand before him if you don't got the blood. Hey. Stop talking about some God. Don't care nothing about that. God said, come as you are. There's not no one scripture that tells you that. Preaching good. Now, you should Preaching come as you are, but God didn't tell you that. Yes. Praise God. Come on. God said, let the women of God dress what? Modest. God don't care nothing about the outside. You see how people say something that's not in a word? Come on. Why would he tell you to dress modest if he didn't care about your outside? Come on. Come on. What preacher are you listening to? Don't listen to these preachers trying to tell you how to dress. I'm not telling you how to dress. God told you how to dress. Yeah. And God told you to dress modest. Right. It's not the preacher word. It's God's word. Yeah. And I have to tell you what God say. Come on, right. sir. Praise God. That's a lot of stuff I don't really want to agree with. It's in the word. Come on, sir. But I can't tell you what I think. I got to tell you what God say. Come on. Because me telling you what I think means absolutely nothing because I'm not your creator. I didn't create you, praise God, and you don't have to stand before Pastor on that day. You got to stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the Ruler of Rulers. You got to stand before God. And I got to tell you what God say. Yes. Yes. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to tell you what God say. Amen. And God said for the woman to dress modest. Uh-huh. And modest means decent and in order. Decent and in order. Decent. It is not decent and in order for your breast to be shown when you come to the house of God. Come on. Come on. 
Now we expect the women of the world to come in like that because they don't know God. Come on. But I'm talking about our daughters of Zion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should get up there. We can see your front pit print and see every dick in your what? backside. Praise God. 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 Listen, that is not dressed in Come on. And I know you got preachers that will not say it. Praise God. Yeah, but they don't want you to leave. But if yeah, you get mad what I'm say. saying, go ahead and leave. Come on, thank God. Because I'm going to say what God says. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I keep preaching until it's empty in here. And when it gets empty, I come in and look and say, God, okay, they ain't come. And I turn around and get back in my car, go home, and look at Fred Sanford. Praise God. Come on, now, come on God. But if I'm going to stand up here, <laughs> I'm going to do what God told me to do. Yeah. That's me and Deacon here with Fred Sanford. We know about that. Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, say God. We got to say what God's word say, whether people like us or not. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. If you ain't never felt like you, you hated your pastor, praise God. He ain't under your pastor, praise God. <laughs> God he should say something sometimes and rub you the wrong way. Yeah. Come on, say to God. If he never said nothing to get you upset, that's you say, hold on, this man can't be my pastor, praise God. Everything he say, I like it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he tickling my ears and tickling my flesh. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. But this pastor right here, I can't stand his guts. <laughs> Come on, say to God. Well, that's your pastor there, praise God. Because he's saying what God said. Yeah. It's not what the man is saying, it's what God is saying. Come and on. it's not just for you, the word of God is for me also. Come, Come on, on say to God. Yes. Moses was a man that gave up the word for God. Uh-huh. By faith, he gave up the world for God. The Bible said when Moses became of age, he left from the palace. Uh -huh. He left from Egypt. He left. He didn't want nobody to call him Pharaoh's daughter anymore. Uh -huh. Remember, Moses was born a Hebrew. Uh -huh. and, and Pharaoh, the, Pharaoh the king, told all the Egyptians, he said, listen, when y'all see a male Hebrew being born, he said, throw him in the river and kill him. Yes. Praise yes. God. And, and so they was hunting down little Hebrew boys and trying to kill them. And Moses' mother, praise God, put him in like an ark, praise God, and put him on Nile River. And, 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 and when an ark was floating, Pharaoh's daughter, the king's daughter, came down to take a bath down there, praise God, in the river. And she seen, praise God, the ark. And she, she sent one of her maid servants. She said, go keep on, go see what's in it. And, and when they opened, they were Moses in the ark crying. And she said, this is one of the Hebrew children. And Moses' sister, Memoram. She was standing over there, and then she came to Pharaoh's daughter. She said, should I go get one of the Hebrew women so they can nurse him? She said, yes, go get one of the Hebrew women and ask them when they nurse this boy for me. She said, tell them I'm going to pay them for nursing him. And she said, "She said when a boy get of a certain age, bring him back to me. I want him to be my son. Mm -hmm. So what Moses' sister did, remember him, who was the prophetess, she went and got his own mama and brought the mama to him. And the mama nursed Moses, but at a certain time, they took Moses into the palace. And Moses became Pharaoh's daughter. He learned Egyptian, praise God. He learned about the Egyptian ways. He was raised up as an Egyptian, praise God. But the Bible said when he became a man, praise God, he refused to be called an Egyptian and he refused to be Pharaoh's daughter. Come on, son. I mean, son, say to God, listen to this. When he became of age, when he got grown, when he was young, he was too weak to say no uh -huh. to the past uh -huh. for God. When he was young, he was too weak to say weak. no, praise God, to the Egyptian ways and say yes to God. Mm -hmm. He was young, he was too weak. He didn't know nothing about God. Oh. See, you see, Moses had the best of everything when he was in the palace. He, he, listen, he was in the palace as a little boy. He ate the best food. Big boy steak and, and shrimp and lobster on the table. Oh. Oh. Moses dressed like an Egyptian. I mean, he had the best clothes. He, he had Gucci and Versace. Oh. He had all that while he was in Egypt. And they rode in the best Cadillacs, praise God. Cause they had cherries back then, and they had the big old rims on it, and gold spokes. And when you saw Moses, a little bitty boy, he was in the back of the chariot, praise God. And they were coming home with groceries in the back, praise God. And they had the white horses in the front with the gold and crowns on their head. See, those were the Cadillacs back then. So Moses was riding clean, praise God. He was dressed in clean. He was in a palace, praise God. He was so young. See, he loved that at first. Uh huh. Small basket. At first. At first. He yeah. loved that at first. Yeah. He had everything that he needed. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But, 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 but Moses became a man. Come on. He became a man. He grew up. Grew up. And, 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 
And, and the Bible said when I was a man, a, a child, I spoke as a child. I thought as a child, I understood as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yes. When Moses became a man, he put away childish stuff. And the first thing he did, he stopped allowing people to tell him who he was based on what he had. Come on! Woo! Because we got a lot of childish men and Amen. women right now in the streets Woo! right now that they try to introduce who they yeah. is based on so what, what they, they got. And they try to show you what they got and try to say, this is me. No, there's not none of you. That's what you got. Yeah. Yeah. So you got a Bentley, and the first thing you want to tell me when I meet you is, look, look at my Bentley. Come on, Pat. The first thing you want to say is look at the ice on my wrist when I meet you. The first thing you want to say is this is what I, this is the neighborhood that I live in. Why? Because you try to use things to identify yourself. Yes. That, yeah, but yeah, what yeah. did Jesus say? Hey. Jesus said a man's life does not consist of the stuff that he got. Yes. He said what you got, that's not who you are. That's not who that's you are. That's what you got. Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Don't you get caught up with this world. Yes. Come on. I'm trying to get things to say who I am. Yes. Jesus said a certain man. Certain man. He had plenty. Mm -hmm. He said a man told himself, I got so much stuff. And Jesus said, the man said, the man said, what am I going to do? Because some people have so much, they don't even know what to do with it. Don't know what and the man said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn down these old barns that I got. And he said, I'm going to build some bigger barns. And he said, and I'm going to put all my goods in these barns. Praise God. And he said, I'm going to say to myself, so Lay back and take your ease. Mm. You got many goods laid up for many years. And Jesus said, You fool. Oh. He said, Tonight your soul is required of you. Yes. Which means Jesus said, I'm going to let you build all that up. Yes. And I'm going to let you put your goods in it. Mm. And God said, Then you're going to die. Uh. He said, Then what are those things going to be? Say, so God, why do we work so hard to, to build up material stuff only to leave it to somebody yeah. else? Yes, Lord. You should be chasing God, not stuff. And when you chase God, God will give you the stuff. Yes. Come on, chase God. Amen. Amen. Some people claim they so big, but you're an ant. You're small. Small. Yeah. You got an ant mentality, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Because something that an ant do. An ant worked all his life. Uh -huh. And it build up and keep going to get food and then die and leave it to somebody else. Come on. We as men, we more than animals, saints of God. Our life is more than us getting cars and clothes and houses, uh -huh. praise God. But we have a purpose, the reason why God placed us here. Yes. Don't let nobody define you, praise God, by what you have. You can't define me based on how I dress. You got to define me based on the person who created me. Yes. If you want to know who I am, you got to go to my creator. Yes. You can't go to my car to ask, who is he? Yes. You can't look at my clothes and ask, who is he? Yes. You got to go to God to find out who I am. Yes. Because my source is wrapped up inside of God. Yes. We got to stop being children, praise God, and using toys to hide behind. Your yard ain't nothing but a toy. That bin ain't nothing but a toy. That whole sack ain't nothing but a toy. That gold and ice on your wrist ain't nothing but a toy that you play with, praise God. But you need God. That's not going to build up the exercise. You need God. We got to stop being children. And when you see people do this, they ain't nothing but a child. They hide behind and praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Trying to make somebody think they somebody because you got on Gucci. You didn't come up with Gucci. Come on, sir. So why you got on Gucci to my son somebody because I got on Gucci? Come on. How they gonna make you somebody? Because you got on Gucci. <laughs> that's the that's a brand of a clothes that somebody else came somebody up with. Else. That got nothing to do with you. Yeah. And what you doing, you just making a man who came yeah. up with Gucci. You making him richer. That's yeah. all you're doing. Say yeah. something caught up in that. Yes. You tell a person, if you don't want to know who I am, go to God. Go to God. Because you're not going to find out who I am based on stuff. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. God don't care about you having nice things. Yes. Come on, sir. But don't you let nice things have you. Don't let them have you. Don't you let things come, come before on, your man. God. Come on. Because you're going to leave it on this earth. Oh, yes. Praise God. Two ways. One, you're going to die and leave somebody else. Yeah. Number two, <laughs> Peter said, he said, the earth and everything in it is going to be burnt up when yeah. Jesus comes back. He said, so what manner of people are you all to be in holy conduct? 
either one way, you're going to die and leave everybody else. Or number yeah. two, if you're, if you're on your feet when Jesus comes back, it's going to be burnt up anyway. Yeah. It's only what you do for Christ yeah. that's going to last. Yeah. That's it. Your stuff means nothing. That's it. Praise God. I'm not moved by that. Come on. Come on, Pastor. Amen. That's not who you are. That's what you got. That's what you got. Amen. Praise God. You stand before God. It's not going to help you. Amen. No you hauls is following. No hurts down the street. You in that you in that box by yourself. By yourself. Your spirit that came out and went right before God, right then. Mm. And what do you have to give God? God don't care about your money. Mm -mm. And demons sure don't care about it. Because they'll be all in your response and we deceived you. Uh-huh. You put money before God. Come on. Praise God. You put these before God. Mm. We deceived you all the years. And then we killed you, is what they'll keep telling you. The whole time you've been being tormented, you put money before God. Mm. Did not God say you can't serve two masters? The devil themselves will tell you what the word of God says. Mm. Come on, say to God. The word. And Moses yeah. knew yeah. that his life did not consist of in the stuff that he had. Yeah. And Moses became a man. Mm -hmm. And God began to deal with Moses. Mm -hmm. And Moses said, something ain't right. Something ain't right. He said, I got all this stuff in Egypt, and I don't feel no kind of fulfillment. Come on, Pastor. See, when God starts dealing with you, hey. stuff don't mean anything to you no more. You said, listen, I don't have no fulfillment from that stuff anymore. Uh -huh. God started dealing with Moses. And Moses has got to be more to life yeah. than clothes in Egypt and chariots in Egypt. Yeah. Moses has got to be more to life. Yeah. He said, I do not feel no joy, no fulfillment yeah. from the stuff that I have. Yeah. He said, it got to be more to life. And yeah. God began yeah. to pour on Moses' heart. And yeah. Moses said, it got to be a God out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. It got to be a God who can fill up this emptiness that I feel. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible said Moses, when he got grown, he went out uh -huh. and looked at his people. Mm -hmm. He never felt, he never fit in with the Egyptians anyways. Never. He went out there to see his people. And when he went out there, he saw them in slavery. Mm -hmm. He saw them being beaten and mistreated. Uh -huh. And Moses' heart began to be stirred up. Mm -hmm. He said, this is not right. Mm -hmm. Praise God. See, he, he left, he left the palace to go out there to see them. He became a man. Mm -hmm. See, when you become a man or a woman, praise God, you start being so selfish. Oh, Come on. And you start caring about other people. Yes. He left the palace and he didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. But God began to stir that man up. Yes. And Moses went out there to look at the people. He was not concerned about Egypt. He was not concerned about the palace anymore. He was not concerned about the treasures. Praise God in the palace. He said, I'm concerned about these people out here being mistreated. Why? Because God started stirring them up. Yeah. Yes. When you become a man or a woman, you stop being so selfish. Yes. Come on, sir. Then it's just about you. About you. That you don't care about nobody, nobody but you. Come on. Come on, say that. It has to be about somebody else. Yeah. You can't say you got God's love in your heart and don't care about other people. Amen. Come on, say that. You ain't doing nothing lying. Now to your aunties and your uncles and your mama and your dad and whoever it is, praise God. They tell us they love God and they hate you. They you ain't doing nothing lying. The Bible says, how can you love God whom you have not seen? But hate your brother who you see. God said you are lying and the truth ain't in you. You got aunties, praise God, they got all forgiveness in their heart towards you. They can't stand your good. You got family members. Come on, so they serve God, but they hate you. You ain't doing nothing lying. You'll bust hell wide open. Yeah. Praise God. You need to hear the truth, praise God. Amen. Amen. Let it spin some back up for us when you love Jesus. You hate everybody else. Praise God. You better not stand before God in, in, in that state. Come on, say God. You just religious. You don't got no relationship with God. You just religious. You say in Jesus' name, but you're not submitting unto Jesus. Come on. Praise God. Take that tobacco out your mouth. Praise God. And get before God and get some deliverance. Yeah. My God. That's <laughs> Praise God. You hate everybody. But God, you love God, you, the Bible says you are a liar. A liar, the truth ain't Because the Bible says God is what? Love. God is love. Oh, yeah. How can you say you got God and don't got no love? Yeah. Come on, saints of God. Yeah. Let's return back to the word. Moses got a stern in his heart. He never fit in with them anyways. 
You got some of those come from the streets, you never fit in with them anyway. No. You was around them, praise God, and, and they were doing stuff wrong, and you were doing stuff wrong, but in yeah. your heart, you know you was doing wrong. you like, God, right. stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but you never told them, praise God, because you want them to think that you was weak. Come on. But you know some stuff, we should go over here and shoot them up, man, we shouldn't be doing this. this listen, listen, this, you, you never really fit in. Uh-uh. That don't mean that you wasn't valid, praise God. I was valid when I was asked to praise God. I would do something to you, and I still will do something to you, praise God. But, but I never really fit in. <laughs> Come on, say, somebody tell my family, praise God. I'm going to do something to you. I'm going to do something to you. I'm going to do something to you. Come on, say, God. God ain't telling you to be no weak man, praise God. God will tell you that somebody come up and harm you and harm your family and you turn on the cheek. That was not what he was talking about. At all, right? At all. Let me tell you something. You come here and put your hands on anybody, yeah. and I'm telling you by way of Facebook, praise God. You put your hands on anybody in here, we will take you through the wall, we will put you, you, we will stop you, praise God, and then we will pray for you. Come on, say to God. That's not what Jesus was talking about. We ain't no sisters. Come on, say to God. Gird yourself like a man. <laughs> Come on, say to God. <laughs> praise God. I'll be beating you, praise God. Say, Jesus told me to gird myself like a man. I'll keep on beating you, praise God. <laughs> now give your life to Jesus, praise God. Jesus be delivered. That's not what God is saying. Come on, say to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. But Moses cared about the people. God started stirring them up. And, and Moses went out one day and saw one of the Egyptians beating one of his brothers. Moses looked around. Praise God. Everybody looking. Praise God. Moses ran up, praise God, and struck the man and killed the man. Moses drove the man away, praise God. Hallelujah. Tell the other Hebrew, come on, help me. Hide him. Yeah. Praise God. And went and dug up some dirt and buried the man. And Moses went back home to the palace like he ain't did nothing. What we eating today, praise God. Well, we got steak on the, on, on the table today, Moses. All right, then. <laughs> Moses will kill the man and, and, and bury the man in the sand. And this is the man that God is sending back to you. <laughs> and you can't take it. <laughs> I ain't going to sit up on no pastor who done did some stuff like that. Well, then, throw away the first five books of the Bible because you can't even preach from it. <laughs> because Moses was a murderer. <laughs> he killed the man and hid the man in the sand. Yes, he did. Well, you got, I don't want no pastor like that. Praise God. I want a pastor who ain't never did nothing. Praise God. Well, you ain't doing a lot because all was born in sin. You yeah. did something. Praise God. Come on, thanks to God. God don't try to hide their past. God didn't try to hide David's past. But the first thing you do, get up. I'm going to dance like David did. Yeah, David committed adultery with a woman and hit her husband and killed. Now you still want to keep on dancing? Come on. Come on. Come on, stay to God. Because these was men yeah. who had did it wrong, but they loved God and they followed God. Yeah. How are you going to preach the gospel and hold on forgiveness against people? Praise Woo! God. Right Especially there. when you need to be forgiven for a whole lot of Right stuff. there. Yeah. Right there. Praise God. Yes. God sent to you who we want to send to you. Yes. Praise God. Your pastor might not be no nerd. Your pastor might be somebody who used to game bang and everything. Praise God. Right. But God will raise him up and change him. Praise God. And God, if you follow him, praise God, you'll make him into heaven. Come on. God call who you want to call. Call who you want to call. Most committed murder. <laughs> Went out the next day. <laughs> Went out among his people again the next day. See to his brother arguing. What y'all arguing for with each other? Y'all would be brothers. The man said, Dude, you gonna kill me like you killed the Egyptian? Most oh my god, somebody know about it. Praise they know God. About it. Moses took all right it, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Moses went home and got a couple of clothes, praise God, and got his shoes and all that. Moses would keep it in the Sasha, praise God. Moses ran out the room, praise God. Moses was on the run. <laughs> He moved before God told him. Yes. When you read the book of Acts, the Bible said that Moses thought that the people would understand that God wasn't going to deliver them by his hand, but Moses was out of timing. Come on. God can have a call on your life, but you can do stuff out of timing. Yes. And when you do stuff out of timing, you can get yourself in some trouble. Oh, my God. Moses ended up killing somebody and he was out of timing. It was true that God was going to use him to bring the people out because most I know God showed me. 
that he was going to use me to bring this shit out. But he got out of time, and he was out there in the wilderness, and, 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 and he was out there, praise God, at the well, and, 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 and praise God. See, everybody, talk, every woman talks when they want Boaz. <laughs> One of the reasons why you want Boaz, praise God, you thinking about money. Come on. Come you ain't on. thinking about purpose and destiny. Come on. But God might not give you Boaz, he might give you Moses. He might give you David. Come on, yeah. He might give you a Nehemiah. Yeah. Come on, say to God. Yeah. And Moses was out there, and, and, and these women came to, to water their flock, praise God. And when they put water in the trout for the flock to drink, some men came and began to push them out the way. Say, get out the way, praise God. And Moses stood up and said, man, leave those women alone, praise God. Moses was ready to fight them for those women. And, and Moses went ahead and watered their flock, and praise God. And the women went back home. When they got back home, and I really believe this man was a black man. <laughs> they daddy was a black man. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Praise God. You said, why do you say that? Because the man's name was Jethro. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> How many white men you know the name Jethro? Praise God. <laughs> Jethro is a black dude with a bowl with beans and cornbread in it. Praise God. His name was Jethro. <laughs> They made it home to their father. Praise God. You need to laugh, saints of God. I'm here in my good life today. Praise God. You should be able to come to the house of God and get the word in and feel that. Praise God. But you understand what I'm saying. Praise God. They went home to Jethro. Uh huh. Jethro said, How did y'all wake your back so soon today? They said, A man helped us today to walk our flock. And those men tried to stop him, but he stepped, he stepped up. He said, Go get the man. Bring the man home. Yes. Jethro said, Y'all need a husband. Praise God. Go get that man and bring him home. <laughs> then when they got Moses, and Moses came up in the man's house, praise God. The man didn't know Moses were around for the Jewish police, praise God. Moses would accuse the man and everything. The man gave Moses his daughter, praise God. You can marry my daughter, praise God. And, and Moses and wife said in one room, praise God. Why did Moses always get up looking out the window? He was looking for the Jewish police. They looking for him. Come on, say to God. <laughs> Come on, see, we gotta be real, say to God. Sometimes God called you and you wanna run. Yes, yes. God had to catch me in that car, praise God. Listen, let me tell you something. I was coming right down Washington. I'm talking about burning rubber, praise God. I turned right here on this side of this church. God is my witness. Police got behind me, praise God. Pull me over. If you don't want no pastor like that, then go ahead and leave. You gotta come back, praise God. I wasn't serving God then. Police got out of the car. Praise God. And when he got out of the car, praise God, I pulled it. To God, praise God. Came up down through second, praise God. Hit a fire hydrant, and water splashing everywhere. I bagged up, praise God, and took off again. Came down, praise God, for our way. I'm running on three wheels, praise God. One of the tires, I popped out, squirted behind everywhere, praise God. I came down here with shotgun dead in <laughs> And when y'all leave out here and pass by a shotgun dead, say that, that, that's where the police would chase the pastor and go praise God. I stopped right there. <laughs> I, I stopped that shotgun dead, praise God. When I stopped, everybody stopped. God was covering me. I took off again, praise God. Came down through Rome City. Praise God. I said, I gotta get this car back to my baby. Praise God. Pulled in front of the house. <laughs> I pulled in front of the house and jumped out the car, praise God. Took off running, praise God. My wife was in the house, praise God. She called and said, send a note back then. <laughs> she was in the house, praise God, smoking weed. The police wouldn't stop beating on the door, praise God. They thought I ran in the house. When they saw beating on the door, they said, no blue rock police. My wife was smoking weed, she got the choke. <laughs> praise God, she didn't know what was going on. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> I done ran through the backyard. I done jumped some fishes, praise God, and I got away. North Florida Finders could even catch me. Praise God. I don't want to see it when we jump fishes like rabbits, praise God. They couldn't catch me. But to make the, to make the story short, God had to catch me yes. in that car. Yes. And when he caught me, that made me get on my knees before God. Yes. Do you hear me, saints of God? Yes. Listen, Paul said, you have heard of my former conduct. Yes. He said, I'm not trying to hide nothing from you. Not trying to hide. He said, I want you to know what God brought me. Yes. Come on, saints of God. Some of you trying to hide your testimony. Yes. Praise God. Let me come down your road. 
Go on, which one? <laughs> Show me a little. Show me some right now. Praise God. Come on, thanks to God. So I'm trying to get you all in the together. You got Woo! Because if I call Marv into the stands. <laughs> Not Marv. Not Marv. Praise God. Not Marv. Marv, so I can tell you some things about that one. <laughs> Not Marv. But it's under the blood now. <laughs> Let's move on from it. Praise God. Moses was a man that you would not want to be your pastor right now today. Mm. But this man had God's glory on him. Yeah. Mm. Praise God. Mm. And, 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 and Moses took off running and, and, and he was out there for 40 years. Mm. Moses forget it. He said, I thought God called me. He said, I ended up killing somebody. He had a whole kind of trouble. Most of them, gonna, I'm going to settle down. He said, I got a wife, I got some children. He said, I'm working for my father-in-law, he got a business. I'm a shepherd. But while he was out there in the wilderness, God showed up in some fire in the bush. Yeah, hey. God said, Moses, Moses. And Moses fell on his face. Praise God. And God said, I'm calling you. And I want to remind you that I'm calling you. God said, I know what you did in the past. He said, but that does not change the call. Yeah. Some of you need to understand what you did in the past. Yeah. It does not change the call. Yeah. God still got a call on your life. Yeah. Yeah. God said, I want you to go back and tell Pharaoh to let those people go. Yeah. Yes, God. Mm. And the Moses said, God, I've already left everything behind for you. Woo. He said, I left Egypt. He said, I left the chariots. He said, I left the Egyptian clothes. He said, I left the Egyptian food. He said, I left the family. Mm. He said, I left everything for you, God. He said, because I'm willing to leave everything behind for you, God. Yes. Come on. I'm willing to leave everything behind for my purpose and for my calling. He said, God, what have you called me to do? Yes. God said, I called you to be a prophet. And I called you to go in and bring a whole nation out of Egypt. Yes. And Moses said, God, come on, let's go. Because that's what I want to do. I want to please God. Yes. And so God, it takes you faith. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. For you to leave this world behind. You're going to make some mistakes along the way. Yes. You're going to do some stuff that you shouldn't be doing, but you got to keep on having faith inside of God. Oh, yes. God. Yes, God. Woo. If yes. you got true faith, Amen. you'll leave this world behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you will accept God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Until you leave this world and what this world has to oh, offer, yeah. thanks to God. Mm. That don't mean God don't want us to have nice things. But don't let the things have you. Oh, yes. How do you think, saints of God? Hallelujah. Come on, let's return back unto God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's stop putting stuff before God, saints of God. Yes, God. Come on, let's go back to the Word of God. Let's get up on somebody that's going to teach us what the Word say. Yes, God. Even if God ain't tell you to be here, that's okay. But go to work with God when you know they're going to teach you the Word of God. Yes, God. We got to return back to the Word of God. We're not going to make it in if we don't make it in by obeying His Word.